Greetings Car Fanatics, today I'm going to be talking about check engine lights that you can get on the Porsche Cayenne and other cars for that matter. And these two check engine lights have to do with the emission system. The first check engine light is the P2404 which is a leak with the emission system. The second is the P0455 which is a major EVAP leak. So let's go ahead and talk about what typically are the common culprits for these two check engine lights. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about the first check engine line I mentioned, which is the P2404. This is the less severe version of the P0455 check engine light. But normally, if you get this check engine light, especially after filling up your gas, what I would recommend you do is just make sure that you have your gas cap tightened all the way. So if you actually don't tighten your gas cap all the way, you can actually get a check engine light on your car and the gas cap even says so. So make sure when you turn it, you get at least three clicks to make sure this is completely sealed and ready to go. Now, if you do suspect that it's the gas cap uh, because, you know, maybe the check engine light came on right after you filled up your gas, um, one thing you can also do is just inspect the seal right here and this is going to allow you to make sure that the seal isn't damaged or anything. So in my case, when I got the check engine light, I went ahead and replaced the gas cap, but I really didn't need to. The seal on my old gas cap was still pretty good, um, and it didn't make a difference with the check engine light, but it's something you can definitely look at first as a potential cause if you're getting the P2404 check engine light. Let's go ahead and put this back and again make sure you get at least three clicks. All right and regarding um, your gas tank and your gas cap if you're seeing a check engine light and you're noticing that you cannot fill up your gas all the way you know like you're filling up your gas it's telling you it's full but you only get half a tank usually what the cause of that is is a bad purge valve. The purge valve is connected to the gas tank and it's actually located in this well wall area and if that goes bad you're not going to be able to fill up your gas tank all the way so if you can't fill up your gas tank all the way it's most likely the purge valve. All right so let's go ahead and move on and talk about the P0455 check engine light which is the major evap leak. So with my car I started with the P2404 check engine light and it's progressed to become the P0455 check engine light. So it let me know that there was some type of leak with the emission system. It started out small and then it gradually got worse because I changed out the gas cap, I tried resetting the check engine light, but the check engine light would always come back. And let me show you what the next common culprit is, especially with the Porsche Cayenne. So unfortunately, if the gas cap isn't the culprit, a likely culprit would be the vacuum pump. So in this case, here is the vacuum pump that was replaced on my car, and this is about a $200 part. So the vacuum pump is actually located right there. All right, so the vacuum pump right there looks good, and it should because I just replaced that one, and it's all nice and clean. But if your vacuum pump is bad, what you will usually see is that the seal is bad and it's leaking oil, and if you see that your vacuum pump is kind of covered in gunk, it's most likely the cause of your check engine light. And what you'll actually notice too, if you have a leak, is that there will be oil coming out of these T lines right there. So if you see any oil dripping out of this T line, this connection, or if you have any oil on the vacuum pump itself, it is usually a sign that the vacuum pump is bad. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the vacuum pump that was replaced on my car. And you can see that there's gunk all right here and up over here. It was actually worse until I cleaned a little bit off, but this particular seal right here is what usually goes bad in the vacuum pumps. And if that happens, you're not going to be getting the right vacuum pressure you need out of the vacuum pump and oil is going to seep through. I don't know if anything else was bad besides the seal, but the independent mechanic replaced this under my aftermarket warranty and replaced the entire unit. So how much did this vacuum pump cost me to fix? Well, the part itself is about $200. The shop I took it to kind of charged me an arm and a leg for labor and it came out to about $1,000. But really, if you take it to an independent mechanic, I'm thinking three to four hours of labor is about right. 
and the actual pump itself, you know, 200 bucks. So I'm guessing somewhere in the six to $700 range is a reasonable price to get this replaced at an independent mechanic. Now, if you want to replace this yourself, you can certainly attempt it. You only have three different bolts that hold it in place, one up here, one down there, and one over there. But as you can see in the space, it is a little tight to get to. If you have small hands, what you can do is uh, potentially get in here yourself and just remove the screws and kind of pull that out. But it is a little tricky. Um, some people also take off the intake manifold over here and that's gonna give you a little bit more space. But of course that's gonna take you some more time. Um, but you can certainly do the vacuum pump yourself if you have the time and patience and mechanical knowledge. If you are pretty handy, it might take you a couple hours if, you're, if you don't have to take off the intake manifold. Um, but you know, if you're not comfortable working on your car, definitely take this to a professional so you don't end up doing more damage to your car. All right, Carfanag, so in this video, I was able to cover the P2404 and the P0455 check engine light on my Porsche Cayenne Turbo. This was the second problem I had on my Porsche Cayenne Turbo. The first was the ignition coils going out, then the check engine light was the second problem, and the third was the more recent video I did on the leaking coolant from the engine, which I had fixed under warranty as well. Um, so hopefully this video is going to help you if you get one of these check engine lights. If you have any questions about what could be causing a check engine light on your car, leave a comment below and let me know what's going on with your car. All right, car fanatics, so in this video I covered the P2404 and the P0455 check engine light on my Porsche Cayenne Turbo. This was the second issue I had with the car. The first being the ignition coils going out. This was the second issue. And the third issue was the coolant leak, which I made a video more recently about. Hopefully if you have one of these check engine lights, this video is helpful for you. If you have a check engine light on your car or if you have any questions in general, leave them in the comments below and just let me know what's going on and I'll try to help you. Well, thanks for watching Car Fanatics. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Leave any questions or comments below.